I feel the movement has given me so much more than I could ever give back. Um, wonderful friendships and enormous support and an opportunity to just be whoever I wanted to be in my art. And I'm a profoundly secular person. That may be a contradiction in terms. <laughs> but that is the closest I came to a belief system in my life. And um, it just seemed so obvious and that what we were talking about was justice, like any civil rights movement. Um, and, but from that realization, um, so many ideas emerged in so many women that um, hadn't been there before. In a way, these are not these are not maps of real territories. They are fragments put together uh, in a map-like way that evoke different moments in different parts of our country. And this one is about the South during the period of slavery and the, the, the part of our country below the Mason-Dixon line. And the way a hundred years ago or when these things that my mother played with in her childhood, which was the 1920s, um, which is close to a hundred years ago, amazingly, um, there was no critical consciousness of it. And, and, and maybe people were singing these thong songs without having any knowledge of what they meant or where they came from. The songs uh, that were uh, sung while people were picking cotton uh, on the plantations. So um, this comes in the sort of center, it does come in the center of our history. And it, I, I mean, maybe this is the most defining thing about America that we still haven't worked out, that we're still struggling with in this country, which is a very, uh, very deep historical memory about, uh, about the slaughter of the Indians, about slavery, and about th the wars that, uh, in which we've just devastated so many civilian populations around the world right up to this very moment.